So Byron, welcome. Thanks, Chris, and thanks for the introduction. Um, so we have two villages, uh, one at Greenway in Canberra, there's 327 apartments we have there. And then we have the landings at North Taramara in Sydney, uh, where we have 220 apartments there. So as outlined by Chris, our, our model is uh, under the Retirement Villages Act. We are an approved provider of home care uh, for, for government funded home care. We also are an approved provider for DVA, uh, we have CHPS, uh, and we also um, broker our services for NDIS operators as well, with that cohort starting to, um, to come through. Um, our model is very heavily centred around the consumer, and Paul Brown has been, I suppose, a warrior for the consumer for the 20 plus years that he's been in the industry. Uh, in his words, to try and uh, give the consumer what they want. So we spend a lot of time uh, speaking with our residents and their families, learning from them uh, and fine tuning our model. Uh, LDK is probably the, the next step in the evolution uh, of, of Paul's journey. So with our model, as I said, it's under the Retirement Villages Act. Um, uh, residents come, they can receive all of the care and services that they need in the comfort of their own to one, two, three bedroom apartment within our retirement village. If, however, uh, their, their circumstances change through either mobility or memory are usually the two biggest triggers, uh, we have a downsize, which is part of our, our one move promise. So a very large majority of our residents uh, will palliate and pass away in their own home, and that's their, their choice and, um, and is definitely what they, everyone's preference. However, we can downsize to what we call a care hub, uh, which is a, a more concentrated um, area of care uh, with smaller one bedroom or studio apartments. There are some two bedders in there as well, where we have higher, a higher number of, of care staff to provide that care. So last year at Greenway Views, we palliated close to 30 residents um, and a very uh, high majority of those were palliated on site. Uh, our care governance systems and frameworks uh, have, uh, have, have received a huge amount of investment and resource from us to be able to deliver really high quality uh, levels of, of care. Uh, we, we operate also under a membership, um, membership uh, model uh, with our residents. So it's not your traditional DMF. And that's one of the big differentiators with us. Our, our model is very simple and, and easy to understand with residents. From the property side, it's money in, money out. So if they pay $100,000 or a million dollars to move, they get that when they leave. We then have our services model and we view ourselves as very heavily a service oriented business uh, and aged care services is one of those services. So we focus very heavily on hospitality and vibrancy and activity around the village so that we service our, um, our residents. And within that membership uh, is, is a lot of tangible benefits that our residents receive, which includes the delivery of care and meals at cost. As a business, um, we, we try and have a a simple business model as well as far as our cash flow drivers and expenses. Uh, we understand that the consumer um, will buy into a strong value proposition and our strong value proposition is probably a combination of our one move promise, which is probably the most powerful part um, of our, our model that we get feedback from our residents on. Uh, the simplicity uh, within our model, that vibrancy, and also the culture that we um, that we emanate throughout our village and our staff, which is what we call LDK, uh, being within our DNA. So everything we do is with with love, decency, and kindness. Um, we wear that on our our badge, and um, and we live and live and die uh, by that. So a very strong value proposition um, in our experience, anyway. And I can I can validate that as you get through your, your questions, Chris. Uh, is driving demand because it's it's really resonating with the consumer uh, and that demand is is demonstrating that we can outperform. So the value proposition will drive the demand, which will drive the pricing, which then enables us to have strong capital growth. Uh, the membership fee also subsidises our, our fees. And then obviously we have a cash flow driver from our development fees. All of that money then goes in to help us deliver our service model, as opposed to um, historically within the system, um, Operators can be very siloed between home care, residential care, retirement living, et cetera. Um, we effectively amalgamate all of those into the one very strong value proposition, which enables us to simplify our, our business model as such. I hope that gives a bit of a, a bit of a rundown, Chris. Yeah, could I ask uh, two questions before we move on to Phil? The first is uh, the membership um, fee. What would be a typical membership fee, let's say, say at uh, Greenway? That's a good question. Um, 
The way that we work the membership fee, and I'll just clarify that, it's a, mem it's a fixed amount um, per life per apartment. So it's not um, couple driven or single driven. So if each apartment has the one membership fee, irrespective of couple or single, uh, a lot of people will compare that fee to your traditional DMF. So roughly speaking, uh, we have three choices. You can pay up front, you can pay over time, or you can defer upon exit. Roughly speaking, up front is around 20 to 21% of the income contribution. Uh, over time, uh, which, which is like a pay-as-you-go type um, fee, is around 25 26%. And then the deferred sits around 31 32% of that income contribution. So at, at Greenway Views, that ranges from about 195,000 up to around 265,000 at, at the moment. We review, uh, obviously, our pricing and, and fees every, every six months. And uh, I'm going to ask an extra question. What is the ratio of people who pay up front? Uh, Greenway Views is currently sitting at around 40% up front. Um, the landings is higher than that. Uh, last financial year was around 75% up front. This financial year is sitting around 50 plus percent up front. So that's a significantly different uh, cash flow proposition to a traditional DMF for an operator because you're Correct. getting cash up front. Yes, you're, you're bringing forward the cash flows. Um, that's particularly helpful in a growing village like Greenway Views where you know, your operational burden is a lot heavier in those first few years as you as you grow. Uh, we took the uh, position very early on that we needed to have a full deck of care, but also a full deck of hospitality for residents. So we knew that we had to subsidise that to create that vibrancy, to deliver the quality that we needed. And then as the business scales within Greenway Views, it will catch up to that, that investment. Which leads me to the second question, which is, what is how much how many staff do you have at Greenway Views for? Was it three hundred? So we've got three hundred twenty-seven apartments. Um, I think we've moved in close to three hundred. Um, all up of that, uh, we'll end up with roughly four hundred and fifty residents uh, at, at full scale. We're not there yet. Right now, we have around one hundred and ninety odd um, staff. That's not full-time equivalent staff. There's a there's a, a large proportion of casual staff in there as well. It's heavily concentrated over in care, but also a heavily component within our hospitality as, as well. We cook everything on site. Um, we don't contract any of our services out at all. So um, so our business uh, literally spans the whole array of services that we, we deliver to our residents. So my major point out of that is it's a significantly different business model to a retirement village, which might have, uh, for a village of that size, might have three staff. Correct. Yeah. With a, it's a, again, going back to the resident and understanding what they want, uh, we have to deliver on that. Um, and I think uh, the validation that we have received from that investment uh, in the, the pricing and the, the sales rates that we have achieved, I think validates that, um, that service mentality. So I'll ask one more question again for the audience education. What have your, you, you, uh, Canberra was a, a fresh start for you. You had no brand recognition. It was just a really fresh um, start. How many sales have you made since you uh, launched? So yesterday we had 300 sales. Um, for, for the whole development. And that includes some resales. Um, we were talking to people within the industry and a lot of people weren't believing our numbers. Um, so we actually engaged PwC to do a report they delivered in around March or April of this year. And that demonstrated that since inception, since we started selling, um, if you remove the lockdowns that we experienced with COVID, We've averaged around 11 sales, net sales per month, not, not gross, 11 net sales per month. Um, the median uh, pricing that we are achieving is above the median house price within the Tuggeranong catchment. Um, we are selling only about 30% to our um, traditional catchment, uh, which is why that median house price number is, is higher. Um, and our settlement periods are also um, quicker. Than, um, than, than other operators. So they, they did a full analysis of our, our business at both um, the landings and at Greenway to try and compare us to, um, to, to other operators. So in summary, um, 300 sales in approximately three years? Just under three years, yeah. 
um, so 100 sales per year, which is significant. Um, you keep the capital gain. Correct, 100%. You get 50% of your DMF, equivalent of a DMF upfront. Um, and the one move promise has been your major selling tool. When, when I speak with residents, and one of the great things about Paul Brown is um, his absolute passion for his residents. Um, we are strongly encourage that we speak to residents as much as we possibly can, spend as much time at villages so we can listen to the consumer. So I, I often uh, have a conversation with new residents and existing residents. A, um, why did you move in with us? And the answer is nearly always the one move promise. The next question I ask is why have you stayed with us and what are you enjoying about here? Um, apart from the sort of vibrancy and uh, activities as, as such, it's the people. Um, they love, love our people and they love the atmosphere that our, our people create for them.